What's up everyone, it's Mike from My Guess World and today's video is about the LG OLED C10 where a lot of people are having issues with the uh, gamma and then you're looking at the blacks, they are crushed. So there are a few things that you can do. So first of all, make sure that your display is like properly calibrated with the Xbox uh, settings in the picture menu settings and then you have to go and do it in the in-game. So I realized that every game has its own uh, HDR calibration, right? So if I go in and see that my HDR calibration is totally off, the HDR white point is so low right now that it's showing that logo which should not be seen. So I don't know if you can see that in my on my camera or not, but it is clearly visible. I don't know if I can capture that, but make sure you do the setting. So if I increase it to all the way up to like 3800, then it just disappears. Then my HDR brightness is set too high right now. So I have to load it so that the barely visible is actually barely visible, but right now it's like visible. So I have to go and load it to cut into half, like 20. Okay, and now if I'm gonna go back to my game, it's gonna look totally different than what it was looking like before. So you guys see now, now it is like totally natural looking the way the black should be. And uh, this has resolved the issue for me guys, so make sure you do that in-game HDR calibration for the wide point and the HDR brightness because sometimes that brightness is set too high or the uh, other thing would be uh, the wide point because that has to do a lot with the increase or heightened black levels where you're looking at uh, a washed out black colors which you should not be experiencing when you have the LG OLED TV. So this is kind of like just work around until LG fixes the issue, but this is kind of pretty basic. You have to do the HDR calibration for, um, you know, the display that you have. Make sure you do it in the Xbox uh, picture menu settings and also do it on the, I like crushing all of these fences around. Okay, no, you have to do the settings in the game for the HDR and also you have to do it in the Xbox itself. So make sure your display is fully calibrated and you're in the game mode and, um, I think that's about it guys, I mean it's just a very quick and small and short video about the HDR basic settings. That's about it from this video guys, I'll see you in another one. If you haven't subscribed make sure you do that because I'm about to receive my PlayStation 5 in a couple of hours and as soon as I have that I'm gonna have the test for the LG OLED C10 and also the test for the, L, uh, for the uh, Samsung QLED, the Q800T which is the 8K TV. Uh, unfortunately, there's no 8K output in Xbox Series X, but let's see if we're going to have that in PlayStation 5, which I doubt because uh, if Xbox doesn't have it and uh, PS also, I think there are rumors that they're not going to have the 8K uh, resolution out of the box. So I'm going to have to see if it is there or not, but that's it from this video, guys. This car is rolled over, so I don't know if I can still drive. Oh, actually, I can drive. It's a video game. So game is not over, guys. I can still be driving this car, but... Yeah, with this video, I assure you that the game looks pretty good on LG OLED C10. You just gotta do like the HDR calibration for each game that you're playing. Uh, for example, let me go to the Call of Duty Modern Warfare. It's still installing. I'm installing the uh, texture pack, the high resolution texture pack right now. So it's still installing for me. But I'm going to show you the settings if, can, if it can let me go to the settings. So I can show you the HDR calibration there. It is mostly off because you have the new Xbox. Now you're installing the games again. And some people are just quickly jumping on those, uh, you know, videos and all. But I, I do that too sometimes, you know. And just start complaining about, hey, there are issues. But sometimes they're not issues. I mean, they're just the pretty basic fixes, right? So in the general settings... There is the menu for HDR calibration. I'm trying to see where it is. Okay, right there. So see, HDR brightness is set to 1. And then there's the HDR calibration option, right, for the HDR display. So that's what we have here, the HDR display. So I'm going to go here. And right off the bat, I have to go closer to the TV and make sure the not visible should not be visible. Barely vis visible should be barely visible and easily visible. You know, it's self-explanatory, right? So you got you got to play with the settings and make sure that is what's happening. So for me, like not visible, 
is fine. I have to adjust the barely visible. So it was set at one, right? I have to go down to cut into almost half. So 0 0.03, more than half actually. I had to cut down for the HDR black point settings. Then hit continue. Now I'm looking at my white point settings for the HDR. It's way too high. So if it's set to way too high, you're not gonna have proper uh, picture that you expect from OLED, right? You're gonna have heightened blacks, crushed blacks, or you're gonna have those uh, gray instead of black, which you should not get on OLED. I mean, that's the issue with the LED TVs, right? Where you're looking at the blacks, but it looks like gray. So you have to adjust this. And I'm gonna lower it down. Actually, you have to increase the white point for for this setting right here. Okay, I have to go all the way up to 0 0.90 for the HDR white point and continue. Do you see how it changes? Like HDR calibration was off before because it was set at uh, 0.10 and I had to cut it to half 0 0.03. And for the white point, white point, I had to increase it. So this is how you get the perfect picture quality out of the game. So make sure you guys follow these instructions. Do these settings on your LG OLED C9, C10. Let me know in the comment section how it goes for you guys. And I'll, get, I'll see you guys in another video. Until then, peace out. And make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. And wait for the PS5 videos, which coming soon in just a couple of hours.